I'm gonna let my engines spin up. I'm burning through five units of liquid fuel per second. How much fuel do you carry? Uh, 5,000 units. <laughs> <coughs> right now I'm burning through almost six units of liquid fuel and I'm not even moving yet. <laughs> I'm burning through, yeah. <coughs> On takeoff you burn about 100 units of liquid fuel to take off. Actually, it's more than that. It's like 200 units. <laughs> but, I think I shut down my boosters. Oh, why is this freaking... I'm flying like over 150 kilometers, a 300 kilometer round trip. <coughs> I'm flying south, basically. You should go up to the... Island where I used to I'm have going, my base I'm going there. To Nick, I'm going to Nixter Flyer, like you told me. Okay. Do you think you can do intercontinental bombing runs? Uh, I'm in fuel saving mode, which is only sipping three units of fuel per second right now. Okay, we'll have we'll have to develop an actual intercontinental bomber. I can burn even less fuel if I climb higher. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just that there's a flying fortress. Well, there's. Has Danco X Files, and then there's um, <coughs> Flying Fortress Mark 13. That's like probably over a thousand kilometers away. Yeah, I can make it. Okay, we'll get the Nixter flyer first. We'll I'm, do at, this in I'm at runs. like three quarters thrust with only uh, uh, my six back engines, and I'm like I'm actually accelerating still, and I'm in a climb, <laughs> and I have I'm like fully loaded right now. I think I weigh like a hundred tons or something like that. Yeah, I'm at like uh, 76 tons right now only. Alright. My engine's over here, what the hell? I, I'm flying at 6,500 meters. Yeah, you need to put, uh... It's your crap that's overheating. Cool. Alright, uh, target pod, I gotta get into attack mode here. I'm not being painted by any radar, so that's good. anything at this one yet. That's a fighter. I want this one with lasers. That sounds mil very military. My thing is super unstable. I think it's the missiles on the outside. But I have mock effects on the items inside my cargo bay for some reason. Are you supersonic right now? Yeah. Well, like awesome. if, I, if I scroll into my cargo bay, it's like there's wind going through my cargo bay. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. It's oh god, I'm doing 700. I gotta properly. slow down. Okay. I'm gonna slow this back a little bit. I'm doing 700 meters per second. I'm doing 260. I'm diving into the target here. Because I need to get a fix on it in my pod. I'm, I'm still increasing speed, and I'm at one third thrust, and I'm not even using all my engines. <coughs> I'm 8 kilometers up. I'm gonna bring this down a bit. Okay. We want weapons, AGM 65s, modules. We want our targeting pod. Close down the piece thing here. Yeah. I'm about to start the strike here. I'm going to use some AGM 65s off my F 16. Come on, come on. What's down there? Lasers. Oh, I see it. It's all blown up. Alright, GG. Let's go check out this other target. Yeah, if stuff gets blown up, people need to recover it. That's just silly if they don't. Yeah. It causes issues for everybody else. 
So I just flew about 150 kilometers. Okay, well, I'm slowly slowing down. What? This is destroyed too. Or at least it looks like it. It looks like a cockpit. I'll hit it with a missile. Why not? Oh, my missile missed. <coughs> so, I decided to stop using the GPS guided bombs since the uh, laser guided missile seems to work better. Yeah. Easier. I'm just gonna come in on target here and fire. Go, go, go. I have a hard time with my craft. I don't know why. It was working beautifully before, but now it just seems to have a hard time controlling it. Like it flops around everywhere and. Those sorts of weird stuff now. There's no radars here. I wonder if it's because I don't have a pilot as any of my Kerbals. 26 kilometers from my target. Nice, nice. I don't know if I'll have enough fuel to get back and then go to another target. I think I just saw something shoot. That's dead. Okay, I'm gonna drop into a lower altitude. I'm doing like low level bombing right now. Alright, let's watch those bombs going on target. Uh, what? They landed around it. The uh, laser guided missiles, what's a, like a safe distance to fire that they'll still hit? I don't know. It depends on your attitude more than the distance. Okay. <laughs> I gotta use guns. No, like I'm three kilometers. I'm asking what's the altitude I should be up from it. I don't know. Three kilometers or so? Okay, that's what I'm doing. But you have to be pretty much aiming at the target to get the more most accurate fix on it. I want to destroy this, but it's I'm out of. Oh well, you know what? I'll just use this again. Action groups, man, I love them. Fire! 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 Are you uh, over the target? Where are you right now? Yeah, I'm about to uh, annihilate its face. Oh yeah, I see you firing over there. Are you going to move on? There is you? literally nothing left. Okay, how much I weapons do you have left? Uh, I used four missiles, that leaves me with... Th or no, I used five. So I used... It leaves me with two cruise missiles, 24 bombs, uh, and three more AGM-65s. Okay, how much fuel do you have left? Uh, more than half a tank. Like do you think three you quarters. you get to the Danco thing? Where is it? The Dan Coex files? Yeah, go for that. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And then you can take another sortie to go for the Flying Fortress Mark 13. We're cleaning up the server. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I guess anything less than a direct hit is no good. <coughs> so. Going into a 35 degree climb. Just. At three quarters throttle. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yes, direct hit. Dead. Alright, I'm gonna ditch some of these weapons. Here. I'd say I'd, I'd say I should have brought my heavy uh, mark variant that has like, you know, 140 tons on takeoff. But uh, would have been a little bit excessive, I think. I don't know, this thing works good. I like it. Jettison. I'm just, di I'm just ditching a bunch of weight to try and get back to base. Yeah, never kill your Kerbals. Always land your craft so that way you can save the Kerbals. Alright, um, I'm going to do some low level flying because that seems to be more efficient, at least in terms of fuel.
I'm starting to level out at I'm at 18 kilometers up. I'm speeding back up a little bit. I bet you if I could accelerate hard enough at this altitude to put myself into a small orbit. <laughs> I'm at I'm at one third thrust of all my engines. If I accelerated this thing with all of them in one shot and picked this thing up to like fifteen hundred and pulled up, I bet you I could sling it into orbit. <laughs> Yeah, at this altitude, I'm only using 2.24 units of fuel, and I'm at 760 meters per second in climbing. I'm almost... I'm getting close to my target. There's no way I'm going to make this back home. I'll have to attack my target and uh, land and then recover. I mean, maybe with the less you weight. Might, you might need to modify it a little bit to get to that flying fortress thing. I'll work. Actually, I'll work on an intercontinental bomber when I get back. If I went straight from KSC to the Flying Fortress, I could make it. It would be a one-way trip, though. Yes. Because <coughs> I mean, right now I only have fifteen hundreds of units of liquid fuel left, and I'll probably be at around a thousand once I'm done this this run. Alright, going down to the first bar of thrust. Oh my god. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to take out our targeting pod. Like, if you have to strip out weight and add extra fuel... Oh, if I took out some of my weapons, I could do that. Or, And actually, I have room to add more fuel to my craft. Like, I, I could add more fuel. Okay, I'm commencing my final diving approach. 63 kilometers away. I only have three AGM 65s left, so it should be enough to take it out. And then I have 24 or 500 pound bombs to carpet bomb. I could do four or five carpet bomb runs with this thing. I have about four minutes of fuel left. Not to mention, I have GPS guided cruise missiles. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm at 10 kilometers and dropping. Feel kind of bad, but at the same time, my kerbals are experienced. I should definitely start stacking proper pilots into my craft, though. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Really? I have I have about four minutes of fuel left, and I just got over the mountains. You're that tight on fuel, man. Yeah, it's because I did a lot of passes at full throttle, so I didn't get shot down. Oh. Okay, I'm in my final uh, approach, I'm 32 kilometers away. I'm lined up perfectly, and I have my targeting pod set. I'm only doing Mach 1.5. <coughs> <coughs> only, in a bomber. <laughs> I wonder if uh, I can attach two electric propellers on this thing and just, like... <laughs> make a really efficient... Like, well, make it so I can uh, save some fuel on long-distance trips. I can turn off maybe two of the turbo jets and uh, have some electrical ones. I mean, probably not, though, the electric ones. Uh, the amount of weight it would add and everything. No problem, man. Alright, we're about to land, dude. I'm about to uh, attack my target. You're the last target. Yeah, we're a bit tight on fuel right now. Oh, I have 1,295 units of fuel left, and I can definitely land this after. 
It'd be a tricky landing though, because I don't have a lot of space to land. <coughs> I you know, one of the things I hate is that I'm ten kilometers away, and with the targeting pod, I still can't see the craft. Yeah, no, it has a spawn. Oh, uh, I have just enough fuel. <coughs> I might have to give it a shot of afterburner and make it to the... Uh... I'm engaging my brakes. What do you put an air brake on this thing? But it's a it's a good F-16 replica. So. I put a bunch of air brakes on mine. It allows me to do a much better glide. This thing handles really good. Cause you know how some planes have a tendency to gradually nose down as they're flying? Yeah, and I, I try and shift my fuel around to avoid that. Yeah, mine, I don't even have to do that. There's one single fuel tank in the front, and, uh... Yeah. And touchdown. As I made it with 18.89 units of fuel left. And I took off with 400. This is a pretty nice plane. Actually, you know what? Let me get rid of this. Oh, okay, there we go. It's a full-on jet. I wish I could take a screen image of this. Alright. Fire one, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Did I just release a bomb into my bay? Alright. So, uh, yeah. Gonna uh, start thanks. my bombing run. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Check out Raging Geek's channel, by the way. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. I have to go, so I had to finish that up quite quickly. <laughs> I, had, I had to release hell with my bombs because my missiles missed. Hopefully my uh, bombing I'll, run is I'll, successful. I'll, I'll stitch this together when I get home tomorrow. It's gonna be a good video. But oh my god, I just wrecked it. Really hardcore, just wrecked it. Okay, so we're gonna have to design <coughs> an, inter an, an efficient intercontinental bomber, I think. Eh? Yeah. Um... Well, I have one, I just have to modify it a little bit. Yeah, but you need to lower your drag, you have so many engines. Yeah, but the way I position them, they don't make that much drag. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Alright, catch you later, man. I'll finish yep. up this. Yep, okay, bye. Bye. Alright, YouTube, we're all alone now. But we can do this. We can handle this. Alright, let's take a look. I think we basically have destroyed everything. We have three more, so I mean, we might as well use them. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't suggest this kind of maneuver in a normal bomber. It probably won't end well for you. <laughs> this is also not a normal bomber. There we go. Oh, crap. I might have just killed all my Kerbals. Full throttle. Come on. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Alt. No, no, no. Okay, what the frig is going on here? Obviously I'm not stable. Okay, what's going on? Alt, alt. Uh, no, 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 out. All the way out. Right. Put our gear out. I don't want to risk my Kerbal's lives anymore. Well, then I already have. <laughs> okay, so we'll go a bit. Up. Whoa.
Whoa, what just happened? It's very touchy now. Don't want to jinx this, but I'm not sure how well this is going to end for my Kerbals. See the craft. Okay, come on. Okay, pull up, pull up. Okay. There we go. Let's just coast towards this debris here. <coughs> My Kerbals did it, but uh, definitely not without issues. Whoa, am I taking jumps with this thing? Alright. I look like I got these little... Uh, things to stop my wings from breaking apart. Alright. Let's see, Mr. Danko. I wonder if I can blow away his craft with my thrust. I don't know what he has left. Alright, well, let's just reset that. It's useless at this point. <coughs> Alright, I'll use my motors. Do I have enough electric charge? Yeah, I should be okay. Alright, so it looks like Dan has been reduced to a single cockpit. Interesting. Well, I'm going to try something. Alright, let's go over top of you like so, Mr. Dan. There we go. Okay. Go forward a bit. Reverse just a tad. I'm on a hill, so it makes this much, much more difficult, but, uh... Alright. There we go. Full brakes. Full throttle. Okay, let's throttle that back. Okay. Lower gear. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Raise gear on that side. Raise the gear on that side. There we go. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, cut, cut the throttle, cut the throttle. Emergency stop. Alright, bad idea. Duly noted. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Major Bucko's channel, and I'll see you guys next time.